Hey guys, going on? My name is Josh and I'm from Kane Productions and today I'm going to be giving you guys a quick tutorial on how to install mods for Kerbal Space Program, sorry. So first of all, you're going to want to get your mod obviously off uh, many of the few sites. Um, I personally prefer getting your mods off uh, Curse Client. I've been using it for years. Uh, obviously, you could go on the forums or there's lots of places where you get mods actually. So, once you get your mod downloaded, you're going to get that in a WinRAR slash 7 zip file, whatever you personally use. The second step we're going to do is we're going to open up Steam. We're going to right click on the game. We're going to go down to properties. We're going to go over to local files. And then we're going to see, um, we're going to click browse local files. And that'll bring up this window. Now, for people downloading mod packs and and uh, part packs versus doing a mod like I am right now, um, generally what you would end up doing is putting those parts in this file and internals right there. And and if you have you know the sounds to back up those new parts or whatever. But basically, this is the tell-all window for mods and all stuff regarding the game. So, for the particular mod we're using right now to install, um, we have to install the module manager and these two mod slash part packs. So, what we're going to do with those is we're going to hit game management, or, or sorry, game data, and then we're going to get the files we need because we don't need this readme document. That readme document, for those of you who don't know, generally they're just, um, you know, information on installing mods, how to contact the creators and stuff like that. So you don't really need that unless you want it. So go ahead and drag what you have into here. Um, generally, you'll already have a module manager in there, but um, just drag it in there anyways, because sometimes you need the um, other one to operate. But generally, you're going to have the most up to date version already. So you you might not need to bring over that module manager. But basically, guys, that is literally all there is to um, downloading a mod. Uh, it just takes about a minute, maybe two minutes. And it can get a little tricky sometimes when you get a crap ton of files that all have to go in different locations. But if you pay attention, it's definitely really easy to install mods. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, go ahead and hit the like button, and um, we'll definitely see you guys later.